I'm so excited <laughs> to finally film this video. So it is time for me to share what's in my hospital bag. I am currently 36 weeks pregnant. I packed this bag a little early because that's just the way that I roll, man. <laughs> I would always read like in forums and stuff, people like, hey, I pack mine. The minute I started going into labor, I'm like, well, that's not my personality. I packed this at like, I started packing it at like 30 weeks pregnant and just kind of added stuff to it. Cause I like, I'm a planner, okay? I like it to be set and ready and that's just the way I am. I know some of you guys are too, which is probably why you're watching this video. So I say, if you're 25 weeks pregnant and you're wanting to pack that bag, you go ahead and pack that bag cause it doesn't hurt anyone. And if it makes you feel good and ready, I say go for it. So many people like giggle at people that pack their hospital bags early. I'm like, what? why do you care? <laughs> also, my husband kept making fun of me cause I was like, I should, I really want to pack the bag. He's like, pack the bag then. Like, who cares? <laughs> like, yeah, you're right. So that's what we're gonna do. I'm gonna link as many of the specific items I mention because a lot of them I bought recently. So you can probably still get your hands on things on Amazon, like my robe. I tried like four different maternity robes, hated all of them. I bought more expensive ones. Less. I finally, landed on one of the least expensive ones that I bought became my favorite and it's from Amazon it's really really cute so lots of stuff like that so definitely check down below of course if you do use any of those links it does I typically make a small commission so that means it supports my channel thank you ahead of time please don't feel pressured you certainly do not have to use the links <laughs> but I just like to be very upfront about that so yeah we're gonna dive into what is in my hospital bag so first let's talk about the bag itself I'll zip it up so it looks a little more kempt so this is a bag from Luli baby and it was sent to me I really like it and this brand is actually the one I'm using their diaper bag for this baby's diaper bag look how cute this is it's like a duffel I love that it's got all kinds of different pockets it is plenty big I did not need any more space than this I'm not a super light packer I mean I really packed what I genuinely wanted to bring and I still was able to fit everything in here so really like that I think I have a discount code with them and if I do I'll put it down below I don't know it right off the top of my head but definitely check it out because I love their diaper bag so much I'm so excited to use it and I really really like this bag too so one thing you should pack in your hospital bag is your prenatal vitamin I've been taking the ritual prenatal vitamin and this portion of the video is very kindly sponsored by ritual so thank you so much for supporting my channel before rituals prenatal i was taking just their regular essential for women for years and i love it my husband takes their essential for men multivitamin but i love that they are an obsessively researched multivitamin they really take the guesswork out of vitamin buying and shopping you know so for the prenatal vitamin it contains 12 essential nutrients to support you and your baby before and during pregnancy and actually the time to start taking a prenatal is actually earlier than you might think it's supposed to be like three months before you even get pregnant so for us when we knew we wanted to start trying that's when I switched over to taking the prenatal but it's got d3s omega-3s and it even has the methylated form of folate and b12 that's actually a personal sticking point for me and really important about 40 percent of women have a genetic variant where their body can't utilize folic acid properly and I'm one of those 40% I didn't know until I found out after my last pregnancy. And that means that a lot of prenatals out there that have folic acid, my body can't use it. And so it's just going straight through. And the problem is you actually really do need folate or folic acid during pregnancy. It's really important. So the methylated format is more easily absorbed by everyone, including the 40% of women that have the genetic variant. So I have to take a prenatal with this. So the fact that it has that is incredible and actually they're essential for women regular multivitamin also has the methylated format so it's awesome so it's just too easy to take capsules each day they have a citrus tab in each one that keeps it nice and fresh and actually the regular multivitamin has a mint tab but it's also gentle on an empty stomach the capsule is a delayed release design and so during my first trimester morning sickness i was very glad that this was gentle on my stomach so one of the biggest reasons i trust ritual is that they're very transparent if you spend a minute just clicking around on their website you can see exactly what is in their vitamin why it's in there and where they even sourced it from. I think that transparency is on another level and it's so, so cool to see. So I just really trust them with the vitamins that my family is taking. Plus their packaging is made from 100% recycled materials. They even use plant-based ink in their mailers, which I think is cool, but they are also vegan friendly, non-GMO, gluten-free, allergen free and it contains no added sugar plus they have multivitamins for your entire household so they have the essential for women they have the one for men that my husband takes they have a 50 plus they have a teens vitamin a kids vitamin and then of course they have the prenatal 
and a postnatal. So when I'm done with the prenatals, I'll be switching over to the postnatal vitamin. I think that's so cool that they have that. And they even have protein powders in their lineup. They actually have a prenatal protein powder I really like that I've been using in my smoothies lately. But on top of it all, it's super convenient. It's delivered to your door. It's just over a dollar a day to get the 12 essential nutrients to support your body and your baby. It's so easy, you guys. And it's funny, literally last night, both of us ran out. This is a, I literally just opened this bottle. Both of us had run out at the same time and my husband looked over at me and said, hey, do we have the next shipment of the vitamins in? I'm like, yep, it came in five days ago. So it was so easy to just, there we go, we're set. It's one less thing to worry about. One less thing to think about, it's just delivered to your door. It's so nice. So right now, Ritual is offering you all 20% off your first month. All you have to do is go to ritual.com slash jbrawn20 and use my code jbrawn20 at checkout. I'll have the link and the code down at the top of the description box if you need it. Thank you again, Ritual, for sponsoring this portion of the video. Let's talk about what else is in my hospital bag. All right, so the rest of this, for my multivitamins, I put them in a smaller little bag because I didn't need the whole you know, thing. So for a C-section, it's typically three nights. If it's, it'd be two nights-ish if it's a vaginal delivery. I packed enough for like five nights because I like to be a little overprepared in case something goes wrong. I wanted to be able to have them. So I've got them in this little stasher tiny bag. Isn't this cute? <laughs> for vitamins. All right, so I'm gonna try to go in some semblance of order wish me luck. So let's talk about like little things before we get into the clothing. Things you might not think of that some of them that I learned about in videos I watched on YouTube of people. So one thing I'm going to bring that I heard about in other YouTube videos is the legendary milk liquid gold. I've heard really good things about this for breastfeeding and helping with, you know, lactation and your milk supply. I figure I'll give it a shot. So I'm bringing that. I honestly, <laughs> Now that I've shown this in the video, I might just pull out a few of these and just put them in here instead of bringing the whole bottle, but I want to be able to show it to you. And then I'm also bringing these Bamboo Bees lactation support supplements that you can just put in your water. I'm just, I just grabbed four of them from the little box I bought. A lot of this stuff I bought at Target. Again, I figure anything I can do, supply was one of the many big issues I had the first time around. So I figure anything I can do to kind of try to help with that, I'm gonna try. And then a nipple balm. So I wanted to make sure I had one that I didn't have to wipe off before the baby would go back to breastfeed again. And this is one that is safe to just leave on there. You don't have to wipe it off. It's the Bamboo Bees, so the same brand. Nipple balm, soothe sore nipples, comforting relief. I used different versions last time and I never really felt like there was one that I just fell in love with. So I figured I would try one I hadn't tried. So moving into the actual thing itself, I am bringing a little fan. Uh, this is an awesome freaking one. We use this when we go to like Disney and like the zoo when it's hot because you can fill it with a little bit of water and so there's like a cool mist that comes out with the fan. Game changer. Because just the fan itself is fine, but when you add water to it and there's that cooling effect to the air, it really makes a difference, trust me. So this one I got on Amazon, I absolutely love. You can just charge it with like a micro USB thing, but the charge lasts a decent amount of time and it has this little hook on it so you could hook it to something. You can also just bend it and take this off and have it tabletop. So like on my little thing, it could just be on me. So highly recommend, it doesn't take up much room and depending on how your labor goes and also just after you've had the baby, no matter how you had it, your hormones are crazy, you're just hot, so it's just nice to have. I am gonna show you, by the way, the baby stuff I'm bringing to at the end because that was <laughs> probably the hardest thing to pack. I realized really quickly, like, I'm like, well, if I wanna get a picture there, what outfit do I want? Do I need to bring a blanket to that matches it so I could lay? I figured it all out and I'm gonna share it with you and hopefully it will help you because I needed that. I needed someone to hold my hand. So I'm bringing slippers. These are just ones I got from a brand a while ago. This says the makeup or the skincare brand's name, Kapari, but it's not, I don't know what brand these actually are. I wanted to bring slippers I don't care about. Here's my thing. My husband got me really nice Ugg slippers that I freaking love for Christmas. And every part of me wants to bring that, but I'm like, Jessica, if you got anything on it or you know, you're know you wearing it in the hospital, they're not as easy to wash. I didn't wanna risk ruining those really nice slippers. So I would say bring slippers that if they got totally ruined or just gross at the hospital, whatever, that you wouldn't care about. So like if these didn't even come home with me, I they're cute and I like them, but they're not my favorite. I wouldn't be too broken hearted. There's tons of cheap slippers you could buy at TJ Maxx, Amazon, whatever, that I would recommend doing. Don't bring your nice, nice slippers, unless you want to, but I wouldn't. <laughs> okay, this video is gonna be so long, you guys. I'm sorry, ahead of time. I also brought flip flops for the shower. These are just black Javiana ones I love. They're honestly the only flip flops I own. So I definitely will be glad to have that instead of just stepping in that shower. Brought my glasses because contacts have just been bothering me lately. And that's a kind of common pregnancy thing. I figured I'll be glad to have my glasses then if we're just watching TV and it's kind of far on the other end of the room. 
I'll be able to see. <laughs> my glasses are Warby Parker, by the way, and I freaking love them. This is a little bag of makeup. I, if you are, this is the first video of mine you're watching, you're probably like, this chick is too much. I talk about makeup a lot on my channel. So like this is, <laughs> this was fun to pack. So we'll talk about that in a little bit. I'll hold off. Cause I know not all of you guys are planning on bringing makeup. Half of you guys don't even care about makeup. So I'll hold off. I did and am bringing the black diapers. I'll link the exact ones because I cannot remember. They're like the always overnight something, something. I did not use these last time, but I hated the mesh underwear and pad situation. So I'm like, you know what? I'm bringing like five of these, five or six of them. They don't take up a crazy amount of room and I know I'm gonna like them. And the reality is if I end up like trying these and hating them, I could still do the mesh underwear if I really wanted, but I wanted to have that as an option because I was too like, I don't wanna wear diapers. And boy, do I regret that decision because I should have just brought them. All right, let's get into some of the clothes and then we'll talk toiletries and stuff. So I have kind of a stack of clothes in here and then I also have this. I'll kind of show you how I have this organized here. So I have clothing in the middle. This is like socks and stuff we'll talk about. And then my toiletries over there. And then I just had like the fan and things kind of stuffed into various crevices. Let's talk clothing. So first of all, I found <laughs> The single greatest thing I've bought on Amazon maybe ever and you guys are gonna make fun of me these freaking hospital socks It was a three-pack. I am someone that I always wear this kind of sock just like an ankle, you know simple And so when I'm wearing a sock that's different like the hospital socks they give you I hate it They don't stay on my feet, right? They're weird and loose and like I don't like it So when I found basically my favorite socks, but with real hospital grippies like these are legitimate grips I lunged at <laughs> At purchasing these so it came with gray pink and black I figure if I'm there three nights perfect I've got three different pairs of socks I don't even have to wear those stupid hospital socks but I'm still gonna have that kind of grippy protection so highly recommend and this is totally something I would wear in regular life too like they're normal socks so that was something I didn't even know you could buy and I was very excited to find I also bought these on Amazon uh, just black high-waisted just full bottomed underwear, you know? These should work whether I have a vaginal delivery or a C-section, cause I think they go high enough. So I'm bringing a couple of those. And then I'm also bringing a few different bras. Now this is where I think I'm bringing maybe one too many. I'm bringing three nursing bras. Just is what it is, but the thing is all three of them are very different. So my sister-in-law was just telling me, or no, I think it was my best friend. Everyone I love and know just had a baby, like within the past like few months, it's kind of crazy. So all of them are like, hey, don't forget to pack this or hey, and I love it. So one of them was like, hey, bring your pumping bra. Trust me, I'm like, that is a great idea. So that way if I am pumping in there, I have this. So this is the Kindred Bravely one. I waited, this is expensive for a nursing bra, y'all. And I was like, I don't wanna, like, I just can't. I cannot spend this. But I bought one of them because they also sell them on Amazon. But it's an all-in-one because you can pull that down and nurse. But then you can have the secondary one up and it's a pumping bra. So you can stick your pump through there, hands-free. You can use your hands for other stuff, like caressing that cute little baby's head. Although I guess if you're pumping, well, anyway. <laughs> I'm overthinking it. And then of course you snap that up and it's just more of a regular bra. Kind of feels sports bra like, comfy, really well made for sure. So yeah, I'm bringing this for sure. I could probably get away with just bringing this, but it does have padding and sometimes you just don't want as much going on. So I grabbed these from Target. I re I've been wearing these just now cause they're so comfy. These little Auden bras, they come in a two pack and you can just whoop, and just kind of whip things out if you need, but they're super comfy. There's no clips to mess with. So highly recommend these. I bought them in a few colors because I know postpartum, I'll probably be wearing this a lot. And they have different colors. They have black, like a light pink, the white. And then I brought one real bra. I don't think we're gonna really have guests. I think the policy is two people and Tyler is one of them. So I'm like, we're not gonna let the grandparents fight it out amongst themselves. So I think it's just gonna be him. But it's nice to sometimes have a real bra option. I don't know. This is one that I'm like, maybe I'll take out but it's a nursing bra from Auden. You can just pull it down, but it feels like a real bra. I'm actually wearing this in the beige color right now, just cause I like them. So those are my overkill on bras. Tis what it is. Again, that's something that I'm like, okay, if I bring one, one extra bra, it's not taking up that much room. It's not that big of a deal. So the robe that I found on Amazon that I tried the posh peanut robe. I tried so many others and they were really nice, but they were a little too clingy because of the material. And I was like, I am not gonna want things clinging to all my cracks and crevices. So <laughs> this one, I wanna say was like under 20 bucks or right around 20. Can't tell you the brand, but I will link it. Look how pretty this is. Is this not the prettiest pattern? But 
It's just a robe. The sleeves are kind of normal, but the bottom of the robe has the really pretty lace detail. It goes just a little, it's not a long robe, but it goes just about to the knee. So it's not super short. A lot of the ones I tried on were short and I'm like, I know that I don't want a short robe on. <laughs> so I was very excited to find this. And I feel like even after having the baby, this is something I will use as well because it fits even for that. So very excited to have found this and really excited that it was not expensive. One of the other things that I wish I had had this for the first baby was right after, okay. So after you have the baby, she'll eventually go to like a postpartum room. I always struggle with when do you get out of the hospital gown? Like you can wear it the whole time and a lot of people do and it, it doesn't matter. So that can be you. But for me, I'm like, I kind of want to be comfier in my own clothes. But the issue is you need to have access to nurse if you're going to do that. And you also need to give the nurses and doctors access to check all your undercarriage throughout the freaking night. <laughs> so with that in mind, you need something that's easy for them to get to. So I can't put on necessarily pants right away. This was the perfect answer. Also from Amazon, it's this little like night dress, just goes to the knees. And with this, you can just kind of, again, whip things out if you need, but it's an open dress. So you'll still have on your diaper, whatever you're wearing, but they can still access everything without you having to like take pants off. This is perfect and I love that it was black. I like that it had a little nice detail with the lace just to make it a little more feminine. It's perfect. It is what I wish I had that first time around. So I was ecstatic to find this because it literally solves all of those problems. So my plan is when we go to the postpartum room, once I'm feeling up to it, changing into this. This is where I am probably bringing a little too much. <laughs> I am bringing this set of PJs. This is from Stars Above. So this would be like the next day, maybe. I say this and it's such a blur of time. Like I remember not even knowing like what day. I'm like, is it daytime or nighttime? I don't even know. But uh, later on, maybe this is the stars above. I sized up, it's not maternity. So I ended up just sizing up twice from my normal size to a large, just so it's looser-ish. But it fits me now. I was like, if it fits me now at nine months pregnant, then I'll be good those first few days postpartum in it. But it's the stars above little set where I can unbutton if I'm needing to nurse. It's nice and breezy. I don't like long sleeves when I'm sleeping. And then really nice pants to go with it. Really nice and comfy and loose and soft. So this I know I will change into and be very glad I have. And plus you're just a little more covered up and stuff. Even if you did have a guest, like I wouldn't mind wearing this if like my mom came to visit, you know? So I'm bringing a nursing tank. This is this pink one. It was like a pack of three on Amazon. They're perfect for exactly what they are. The one thing I will say about these is after you use them for, you know, six months, they look worn. I mean, they get worn fast as you're washing them. I don't mind that. It's not crazy expensive. You might need them. Like if you're nursing, you're definitely gonna need them. This is the pink one. And then I brought these loose pajama pants I've been wearing all through pregnancy from motherhood maternity. You can get these on Amazon and Target. They're so comfy and they're not like obviously maternity. They like, I feel like anyone could wear them, but they have a little bit of ruching on the side. They don't come up like above the belly. They're still kind of below, but they're really loose and it doesn't pull in tight. And I feel like if I do have to have a C-section, these would work really well for that because they're really loose. Mm. I own more than one pair of these <laughs> and, and these I'll be wearing postpartum a lot too. I can tell you that with certainty. So got this little like comfy outfit I can wear during the day if I want that's still comfortable, but I can be moving and grooving in. I'm sure I will not be grooving. My going home outfit. This was another piece of the puzzle that I was like, why is this so hard? I don't need to look cute. I'm not wearing like a dress. But why was it so hard to pick this out? So I finally figured it out. I hope this helps you. I brought a black nursing tank. So in case, I mean, it's a 10 minute drive home, but in case we just have to stop five minutes into the drive and I need to nurse, I can. <laughs> but seriously, a black nursing tank, these joggers from Amazon, and a lot of people recommended these when I asked. These are, you know, real stretchy, like real stretchy. So C-section or vaginal, you'd be good. And they go down and they're kind of cuffed at the bottom. So they're a jogger. So they feel like pajama pants, but they look like cute, real-ish pants. And they're gonna be loose enough. So you're going home in your diaper or whatever you're wearing down there. You're not gonna feel like it's showing all that. You know what I mean? It's, it really is perfect. So this and the black tank. And then I found this at, was it Target? It's the Isabel Maternity brand. I got a medium. This is this hoodie, cause it's gonna be early spring when we're giving birth. Anyway, it's a hoodie, which you might think, oh no, Jess, but what if you need to nurse the baby five minutes into your 10 minute drive home? <laughs> well, have I got a solution? It has a zipper at both sides. So you can zip it all the way up to here and 
be able to do it from that from either side. Very smart. But also I'm like, this is a nice purchase because I can wear this obviously postpartum for a while. And it is meant to be maternity. So there's plenty of room for whatever belly situation you got going on. It'll go perfectly over the black tank with my joggers. I figured it out, you guys. <laughs> I don't feel like that's that bad. Like I might have one outfit too many, but whatever. I'm cool with it if you guys are. I also am bringing my chargers. That's, I mean, an obvious one. And as everyone says, if you've watched a lot of these videos, get a long one. It's like 10 bucks on Amazon, y'all. Get yourself the longest one you can find. I use this in my day-to-day -day life, my long, long ones, because it's just nice. A lot of times you're not near an outlet. <laughs> I also have this, which is um, a USB and USB-C charger. So I can charge like my iPad with this. I can charge my phone. I can charge my Apple watch. I don't know if I'll be, I'm probably not bringing that. My Kindle, cause I'm definitely bringing my Kindle. So you can charge a lot at once, which is just really convenient. Got that on Amazon. This little charger holder, by the way, is newer to me. I got in my TJ Maxx haul vlog. Uh, I can link, but it, it's perfect. It really like holds everything I could ever possibly need. Oh, this is something people don't talk about, but you need, okay? You straight up need. You need something, and it can just be a plastic grocery bag. You need something for soiled clothing because even after you give birth and if you do switch into your own clothes, odds are you're gonna get something on some clothes. You will be glad to either have a plastic bag of some kind or like I just have this straight up travel laundry bag. It unfolds into a little bag and then it can all be held separate from my stuff and my bag, you know what I mean? And it just gives you the peace of mind. You can just throw it in there, it's dirty, it's protected against all the other things you own. Uh, yeah, this was another like $5 TJ Maxx find, but you can find these anywhere. But like I said, you could also just, just pack a grocery bag or two. Like literally just stick a few in there and you're good to go. So one kind of random thing I'm bringing is a folder. This is from when I was teaching. <laughs> and this is honestly just, it's not even a folder folder. It's just like a little, I might switch this to a real folder. Then I'd have to buy one and I don't think I'm gonna, but just, they're gonna give you a ton of papers. Now some hospitals will give you a folder with it in it. So I might not even need this, but again, this takes up literally no room at all. So I'm like, well, I might as well bring it. If I don't use it, I don't use it. Another thing I'm debating whether I'm going to bring is this nursing cover. This is the AMA nursing cover. It's a little pricey, but I was like, I love the idea of this. So you put it over your head and it can be a, I'm trying not to mess up my like hair and makeup. It can be like a cute little like poncho with jeans. Like it literally looks like clothing kind of comes down at an angle. It's really cute. And then you can nurse underneath it, but you can do it a bunch of different ways. And I'm like, they had so many different colors. They're so well made, easy to wash. They fold up small, but I just loved that it didn't scream nursing cover. I've had a couple and they're just very obviously, and it doesn't matter. You know what I mean? It really, I know it doesn't matter, but I just really fell in love with this. So I got the gray. I might bring this. I also remember not caring about covering up. And that's why it's kind of, it was kind of sitting on top of my bag because I was like, I might not bring it because I did not have any decency the whole time. <laughs> Just none. They really break you there in the hospital. <laughs> so some other like toiletry like items I'm bringing, I'm bringing a scrunchie. I have some hair ties too, but sometimes the scrunchie is just nice to have. Like it's somehow easier to get in your hair really fast. Bringing a couple of the Bamboo Bees nursing pads, the throwaway kind. I probably will not need them because my milk probably won't come in until I get home. Again, doesn't take up much room and I already have them. So. This is my toiletry bag. I could whittle this down to half, but I always have this packed and ready to go for when we travel. So I kind of just took it and threw it in here. I will say it's nice to have something you can hang, a hanging one, because there's not gonna be a ton of countertop space most likely in that bathroom. So anything you can hang, so it's useful to you, you can see it all, but it's out of the way is gonna be good. Otherwise you've got all these things precariously along your, your <laughs> sink that you're trying not to knock over every time you wash your hands, you know? I'm not gonna go into crazy detail. I've just got, you know, my toothbrush and toothpaste. I have deodorant, deodorant, you guys. My favorite face wash, which is a CeraVe hydrating face wash. I have, I have shampoo, conditioner, and body wash, just ones I got in the travel section. Actually, these are all half gone because I used them on another trip. They might have shampoo and they might have a bar of soap, but I'm like, for my shower, that shower is gonna be the most luxurious thing in the world. I do remember that. And I would, I think I'd like to have real shampoo and conditioner, you know? Dry shampoo and hairspray. That's a big thing. Dry shampoo, I have the Mika, and then my favorite, the Bedhead Masterpiece hairspray. These are all like half gone. So I'll probably use them up while I'm there. You know, if I'm not washing my hair, dry shampoo, yes. Hairspray I use every day, just cause even if I'm throwing my hair up, my hair can be so limp. You might not guess it based on looking at it right now. My hair can be so limp that 
putting it in a ponytail just looks weird. Like I need some grit in it, like hairspray, to get it to like look cute in a bun. But I've got like my retainer. I've got a little thing of some hair stuff. I also have a loofah I might take out. I travel with a loofah because I am that extra. <laughs> <laughs> but hairbrush, I wasn't gonna bring, I'm not bringing my hair dryer or like a hair curling iron. I'm just gonna let my hair air dry after I shower, but I did need a brush. This is just the wet brush, like the mini. You can get a three pack of these. I use one for my daughter too. But then I just wrapped some more hair ties around here. So if I need them in a pinch, they're right there. And I do have a little thing of bio oil in there. That's what I've been using to prevent stretch marks. And you really do need to use whatever, if you were using an oil or a belly butter on your stomach and thighs and all that, you do want to use in postpartum for a while because as your body's shrinking back down slowly, your skin is stretching or doing the opposite of stretching, I guess. But it, it's it's being affected once again. So it's still a good thing to just keep that up for another few months. So I did bring that. And then makeup, I really pared down. I mean, this is like not a big bag for me to be using for makeup. I threw in a sponge. This is my favorite $1.50 sponge on Amazon that is better than the Beauty Blender, y'all. Please trust. I've only bought this brand for like years now. So I just have a few various brushes. Fun fact, a few years ago, we were on a trip and our luggage was lost and I bought at an H&M this cute little pack of these tiny little brushes to use. I just love them. So they just like, every time I see them, it makes me think of that trip and it makes me smile. So I'm bringing just a handful of brushes and a sponge. And then the only makeup I'm bringing, that's where that is. I packed this a few weeks ago and I was using some of my favorites and I'm like, I'm gonna miss these in the next few weeks. And I do. First of all, I have Aquaphor as my lip balm. Hair ties and lip balm are like two of the biggest things you don't wanna forget. Aquaphor is what I use for my lip balm. So I have that in my toiletries bag, but I also grabbed this. This is the Naturium Phyto Glow Lip Balm from Target. This stuff is amazing. It's a lip balm, but it looks like a gloss. So like during the day, I feel cute with this on. <laughs> I just love it. I love it. So they have colored ones too. I just have the clear. And then I have for like, if I wanted to throw on just something to kind of even my face out, the Purito BB Cream, 10 bucks on Amazon. One of my all time favorite base products ever. It is so pretty, medium coverage, beautiful. I grabbed the NARS Creamy concealer and then for my brows the elf wow brow i don't have any eyeshadow or anything because i'm like i i might throw in a little thing but i know myself i probably won't end up bothering with eyeshadow so the only thing i really brought was this mac paint pot and painterly it really just kind of evens out the whole eye area and it's really pretty and then i brought the Urban Decay little nub of a, an eyeliner I have left. This, the Physician's Formula Liquid Liner in Waterproof, I freaking love. And this is if I'm feeling extra, then I'll do a little wing. <laughs> we'll see. My favorite mascara, the Essence Volume Stylus. This is like five bucks. It is so freaking good. Oh, so good. And then I did bring a powder foundation from It Cosmetics that I really like just for extra coverage if I want it. And that's like the quickest way to get coverage, you know? And then this is where it's a little overkill, but I brought the Kevin Aquan Sculpting Powder in Medium. I love this as like a bronzer sculpting thing. And if I'm taking pictures, you know, if you're getting pictures, it's nice to feel a little more put together. And I'm someone that just loves makeup, okay? Tower 28 Beach Please Cream blush in uh, Magic Hour. I just tap this on with my cheeks. No, tap onto my cheeks with my fingers. And then this little rock highlight in Daylight. So kind of a random smattering, but I think this is gonna be more than enough for what I need. The only thing I really am not bringing, I'm not bringing any like lipstick or anything like that. I'm not bringing eyeshadow truly. So for me, it is simplified. If you guys are still with me at this point, I will be amazed. So the only other things that I'm thinking about bringing is a heating pad. I sleep with a heating pad, or well, I start to sleep. It auto turns off after, after like 30 minutes. I sleep a heat, with a heating pad every night on my lower back and it feels so good. And if you're having those, like after you've given birth, you'll still have some contractions. This can feel so good on them. So I'm thinking about bringing this because I love it. And it fits. I've put it all in there and it fits with this and the next thing I'm gonna mention, but it's a tight squeeze, so I'm like, maybe I don't. Let me know your thoughts, because I will have this video up before, well, my gosh, knock on wood, before I go into, into the hospital. So I'll be curious your thoughts. Like, if you brought a heating pad, did you use it? Were you allowed to bring it? I've heard people bring them, but. The other thing is a really comfy sweater. This is one from Target that so many of you guys have bought on my recommendation, and I love it, and you guys love it too. It's from Stars Above. It is the softest, stretchiest thing. Like, it's even softer than those expensive Barefoot Dreams ones. I own one of those. This is way, way softer. So the reason I'm not sold on bringing this is because I know myself, and I get hot. So I'm like, will I even use it? And I'll have my blanket, and so that's why this and the heating pad are kind of sitting outside and the nursing cover, and I'm still like, 
on the fence, you know? So the only other things I have on like a list that sits on top of my bag to grab right before we go in, because they're things I use every day. My grab last list is my Kindle, my iPad, my headphones, and then my retainer, because I wear that at night and I would need to, you know. And then the things I'm gonna leave in the car. So my blanket, my pillow, definitely my pillow. But I hated the blanket last time too and I couldn't sleep. So blanket and pillow, they're just gonna sit in the car until we need them. My nursing pump and then our boppy. The reason these are all gonna sit in the car is because really when you first go into the hospital, once they're like, okay, yeah, we're doing this today, <laughs> whatever, you're in that labor room for a while and so you'd want your own bag and your husband would probably want his bag or your partner, or whoever. A lot of the things like the baby items, the boppy, the pump, I'm not gonna need until we're in the second room they take you to after delivery, which is like the postpartum room. So I'm like, those are things we can leave in the car and when we need them, your partner can just like go out and grab them and bring them back in. So that's kind of where I'm at with that. So I'll be glad to have them if we need them and if we want them, they're there. Just, you know, a five minute walk away in the parking lot. All right, so that's everything in mine. Let's talk baby stuff. I'm gonna be honest, when I gathered these baby items, I thought it would take up more room than this and it didn't, this is it. I have like two things out of here that fit in there. I just, I had pulled it all out already to show you. So this is just a packing cube. I got in a pack of packing cubes long ago, but it works really well. And that way it's all kind of together and I don't have room in mine. So it's actually gonna go in my husband's pack. A couple of things I hadn't heard a lot of people talk about. I got these on Amazon. These are these inkless little pads for like hand and footprints. I've heard a lot of nurses will do that for you in the hospital if you want. So I don't know if they will, but I'm like, this doesn't take up much room. It's got everything you need. And then you've just got a couple of their prints just on the papers in here that I could put in a frame if I want. I could put in a baby memory book. So that was perfect. And then another thing, I can't show you the whole thing because it has her name and we're keeping it a secret until she's born, but I can cover the name. I placed an order on Caden Lane, the website. So um, I'll show you the different things I got on there. This is where I was struggling with figuring out, like I wanna get a cute picture in the hospital, like with her nameplate I'm about to show you, but I didn't know what, what I wanted to do because there's so many different versions. You'll see what I mean. So anyway, so I got this, it has her name at the top and then you can write in the date, time, weight, and length. And then you have this little wooden block as like a little keepsake. And it even came with like a little bag. I did grab a Sharpie and threw it in here. So we have it while we're there. Cause I'm, I'm like, I don't wanna assume they're gonna have a Sharpie there, it's just easier to have it packed. So that is ready to go. And then we'll be able to put that just like in her memory box for the rest of her life. <laughs> we also are bringing this little sound machine. It just makes different versions of white noise. It gets really loud. I did not bring a sound machine with us the first time around. And I wish I had because that's what the baby's used to hearing in there. You know, that shh noise of just your body working. <laughs> And uh, this is a really good one and it was not expensive and it's pretty powerful for how small it is. And so it, I charged it up and then I have, I packed the charger with my chargers if we need it. I think it's just a micro USB. So like half of the stuff I own is charged with that. So that is really, really nice to have. I saw they have a white version of this though. I'm like, dang, I think I would have gone for the white if I'd known, but got this, it's really, really nice and loud and hopefully we will all sleep better. And honestly, we sleep with white noise too, even as adults. So another thing I got on Caden Lane, I actually can't show you, but it's one of their soft blankets. And on the other side, you, they have a million colors, but on the other side, you could get their name printed. Genevieve has one of these that a lovely subscriber sent to her years ago and she still uses it. So that's what this is. It's all washed and ready to go. And I might get some pictures of her with that, but we also just needed a warmer blanket for when we're taking her home. Cause like I said, it's early spring. It'd be nice to have a nice thick blanket to kind of wrap around parts of her in the car seat. So definitely bringing that. And then in here, I have two different pacifiers for her. We've already sanitized. This is the Ryan and Rose like the first stage, yeah, stage one. They have a bunch of different stages. So I got the stage one and I also got the MAM, like the super lightweight starter MAM pacifier. Cause I don't even know that we'll end up giving her one in the hospital, but if we do, which we probably will, we've got it. I brought a burp cloth. This is the, what brand is this? Aiden and Anai. The reason I like this is because it literally is a burp cloth, right? But then it also has snaps. So you can put it around them as like a bib in the future. She won't need a bib while we're there. Uh, we might not even need this at all while we're there, but I'd rather at least have one. I'm bringing two swaddle blankets. This one is the Copper Pearl brand. These are so big and stretchy. You can really, really swaddle them in good <laughs> because they are so stretchy. I prefer this kind of swaddle blanket over the muslin ones. We do have a couple. I bought some Cloud Island ones. 
And we'll use those two, but I like the stretchier ones. I feel like you can get a better swaddle with it. All right, so continuing on, we got a, another swaddle blanket. This one is from Caden Lane because it goes with the outfit we're gonna take a picture of her in while we're there. So what we're planning on doing is laying this blanket out kind of on top of the bassinet there, having the nameplate, whether it's on her or next to her, whatever. And then this little outfit from Caden Lane, it's just one of their knotted gowns, you knot it at the bottom, it's just open. But it also has the little mittens that go over their hands, which is nice. And I loved how simple it was. And then this over this, I feel like it goes really well together. So that's my biggest advice. If you're struggling to figure that out, just get a simple color for the outfit and then a patterned little blanket, you're done. You know what I mean? It, it, it doesn't need to be Kate and Lane. It doesn't need to be, you can find plain outfits anywhere, but I think that makes it easier because for me, I was like, I don't know why this was such a struggle. I think I'm just <laughs> anxious. So I'm like focusing on things that don't matter like this. But that came with a cute little hat. You can tie at the top but I also bought the matching bow. The bow didn't come with it, but it's so cute. I was like, I have to. So we have both, which is fine. And we'll use these. I mean, I'll still use this outfit after the picture too, just in day-to-day -day life those first few weeks. So that I'm glad to kind of have that taken care of. And I ordered it all from them. And that is nice. I also am bringing two tiny little diapers. We really don't need them. They're going to have them there, but I figure if I need it on that 10 minute drive home, we've got them, I don't know. <laughs> really, they'll send you home most likely with diapers and wipes and stuff like that. But I just threw two in there because it makes me sleep better at night, okay? I'm bringing a couple of sleepers that are really easy to get the baby in and out of. I was trying to avoid too many things that go over their head. So like the knotted gown goes over their head, but when they're that little, it's stressful to put things over their head. Uh, so sleepers like this are great because they zip and you just lay it down, lay the baby on it, and then you can zip them up, etc. But it also has, all of these have double zippers. And most sleepers these days do, uh, where you can unzip it from the bottom so you don't have to take the whole thing out. You can just unzip from the bottom, change the diaper, and then do that without ever having to take their arms out of the sleeper. This is a Carter's one that I bought, newborn size. This is the E equals MC, y'all. These are magnetic and they are so much cheaper than the magnetic me sleepers. These are like 14 bucks, um, but they're totally magnetic. So it's really easy in the middle of the night, boom. They sell these on Bye Bye Baby and they keep going on sale too. So definitely check them out, I'll link it below, but love that. I have heard that magnetic me will go on sale sometimes too, and it'll get closer to this price, but you never know when that's gonna happen. And you know, for me, I was like, I need to buy it now, you know? So the E equals MC, these are just amazing. Her going home outfit is gonna just be another sleeper. I think it'll be this one. This is a Cloud Island one. Again, it has the double zipper, so it zips from the bottom. I just thought it was cute. All of these brands I just showed you for the newborn have the little mitten fold over cuff, but these are from Target. They're really cute. I, have, I bought a lot of these. And then I have a little white hat that can go with it if I want it to. I also am bringing two swaddles and this is another area, like I have the blankets I can swaddle the baby in, but these are so darn convenient. This is the Swaddle Me brand and they have a zipper on the bottom. So if the nurse needs to come in to check the baby, the baby can stay swaddled and they can just unzip the bottom and flip it up, change their diaper, check things out and zip it back and the baby's still sleeping up top. And honestly, that's gonna be convenient for me and my husband, <laughs> middle of the night changes, etc. So I think that is so awesome and this just Velcro's shut. So we've got that and then I also brought this little Swaddle Me. This is one I think I had for Genevieve. That's just it, it's just a simple, thing where they're swaddled and it does have a double zipper so you can get to the bottom and it just looked even thinner so I was like this might be perfect for a newborn and it is the newborn size so bringing those two and then I'm also bringing a little sweater in case we need it going home since it is early spring that we are due figure the sweater and then the fleecy blanket I showed that together is going to be plenty warm for our drive home and then I also have one pair of newborn socks I only have one pair because none of the things I'm bringing would require socks it's just sleepers but if she were like in just a little onesie that they have. Should I pack a onesie? I didn't think about that. <laughs> I can throw it in, it takes up no room. I might I might throw in a onesie. Anyway, uh, just in case, it's just nice to have. And then I do have two little mittens. Kind of same thing though. Most of these we wouldn't need it with because they have the mitten fold over things. But if she is just in a onesie, it might be nice to have. This is the best kind. It's the Carter's brand. And because this cinches in so well, I find that these don't fall off as easily. Yeah, I might grab a onesie. I know, I know that we won't need it because I know they have them there. That's that's what they put them in. I don't know. <laughs> Can you tell?
know I'm just in that nesting phase where I'm like, I just want to make sure I have everything. And you know, we are so excited to meet this little girl. And we've talked about a lot, like our mentality the first time around was so different than it is this time. Cause first time around, you just don't know what to expect. It's, it's all so overwhelming, it is. But by the second time, I'm just like, okay, we know what to expect. We're gonna be exhausted and this is gonna be, I mean, we know what the postpartum time is like. <laughs> But we are just so excited. We are so excited. So also I need some tips because obviously I've already washed all these with like free and clear, but this little thing is so darn wrinkly now from being in there for like the past week or two. The other thing obviously that you need, really the only thing you need is to make sure your car seat is in your car. I have read to put the base in the car, but not to actually put the car seat in there, like attached to the base until you're like going in if you can, because if you were to get, God forbid, into a car wreck, typically that would like void the car seat, the safety of it, even if, you know, the car seat wasn't technically affected. So it's just something to keep in mind that I read and I was like, I hadn't really thought about that. So we have the base in, but we have not put the actual car seat in that will come. But yeah, that's everything. I am so sorry. This was like a literally an hour long video. I would like to take this moment to apologize to my editor as well. I am so sorry this video was so long. Thank you for editing it. <laughs> but yeah, I we we're just so excited and I've been excited to film this video just because it means that I'm one step closer to meeting her. And you know, it's just one of those things. I'm trying to repack while I talk here. But yeah, I hope that this video was helpful for you guys. Really, I truly do hope it was. And that's why I didn't want to rush through it, even though I don't know that I could have. <laughs> but I didn't want to rush through it because this is such an important thing to prepare for. And it's such an exciting thing to prepare for. And it's, you know, it's anxiety inducing and all of that. But um, yeah, I enjoyed sharing all that I'm bringing. And I hope that you enjoyed it as well. My best advice too would be if you're trying to make your own list, just start your list on your, like I literally started my list on my notes app. And just as I would watch videos or read blog posts, whatever, I would add more to it. I'd remove things, I'd add notes like, oh, don't forget to, you know, for my list, baby's list, um, we had to pack for my toddler too, cause she'll be with grandparents when we go in. So like her list and my husband's bag, by the way, we, he's really, I mean, he's got his own stuff. So a change of clothes, that kind of stuff, toiletries but he's in charge of snacks going in that bag. So I told him I wanted like Pringles. And then also uh, he's in charge of like entertainment. So he's bringing our fire stick. Cause a lot of TVs, you can just plug it right in and like be able to use it. But also like a deck of playing cards, our favorite game, Bananagrams. It doesn't take up much room he's gonna bring. So those kinds of things too, he's taken care of. And then he's also in his bag cause he's not packing a ton the baby stuff's gonna go in his bag just cause like I said, I don't have any room in mine. <laughs> anyway, but thank you guys for watching. Thank you again, Ritual, for sponsoring this video. Again, if you want to get 20% off your first month of Ritual, you can go to ritual.com slash jbron20 and then use my code jbron20 at checkout. And again, the link and the promo code are down below. If you enjoyed this video, I would love if you subscribed and stuck around. Like I said, I have my pregnancy and baby videos linked below. I also talk, I do just vlogs you know, regular life vlogs. I love doing those. So I'll link my playlist if you want to check them out and kind of see what the vibe is. See if you like the vibe. See if you want to stick around. <laughs> I would love it. And of course, I also talk about a lot of beauty and makeup stuff here too. And other than that, I will see you guys in my next one. Bye.